Still hanging in there? I'm still hanging in there. Oh, uh, look, I can't world. begin to recall the number of celebrities and politicians that have been on this sofa since Fiona first was on it. I bet you can't remember half of them no, anymore. it's weird looking. I do remember finding Tony Blair very attractive, though, I have to say. Interesting you say that. Yeah. I think that shows. Here's some of them. Oh, really? <laughs> Fiona Phillips, why are you leaving GMTV? We're going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'll give you my phone number. You can call me up every once in a while and just kind of scream over the phone or something. <laughs> we love you. Take care, Fiona. Fiona, you have seen us grow from little boys into hopefully men. Thank you for all the support. <laughs> Quite literally, you, you know, thanks for all the support over the years. Can't believe you're leaving the show. Won't be the same without you, but uh, best of luck on whatever you do. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the Ivy soon. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, you've come to the end of 12 remarkable years. I've loved every occasion that I've had a chance to meet you. Good luck with your future and go home and have a wonderful time with your kids. God, I'm so jealous. Congratulations <laughs> on being a great star. Congratulations on the support you've won throughout the whole country. And congratulations on what you do for charity and for good causes. We really are in your debt and my best wishes for everything you do in the future. It's not going to be the same without Auntie Fiona here. You see, I cut even my hair short in morning. <laughs> We told you when you were on Strictly, don't give up your day job. Now we've just heard that you are. We can't believe it. Craig? Ten for entertainment. Ten for your sparkling, wicked wit. Ten for pep and personality. And for me, ten for looking so gorgeous first thing in the morning. Love you. Love you. We love you, Fiona. You should have been here many, many more weeks because you were always my favourite. Many a time I woke up in the morning and sat and watched you while I was having my cup of tea and toast. I'm going to have to move on to Moosey, I think. Good luck. Please don't do heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Fiona. I never saw you because I wasn't up in time, but I heard you were very good. Fiona, we are very sad that you're leaving. Thanks we... for all the good times, Fiona. Yeah, thanks right. for the good early mornings. I just love you more than you'll ever know. I'm sorry, I can't do any more. <laughs> Look, we're crying. <laughs> oh, no, <kids. laughs> See you soon. Fiona, we've had many chats over the years, and I just want to wish you all the best. The sofa will never be the same without you. You had a brilliant ability to get to the heart of every story and explain in a way that people could understand. Work, family, it's a difficult balance to strike. Uh, I'm sad to see you go, but you're doing it for the best possible reasons. You've been very entertaining, you've been fantastic. I'm really going to miss you, so all the best and lots of love. Mwah. So you're leaving. Just think one thing. You'll be able to have a lie-in in the morning and cuddle up to the old man. That will never be a change. Fiona, I wish you good luck in your new venture. Fiona, thank you for everything. Hello Fiona, um, just want to say congratulations on many successful years at GMTV. Uh, thanks for all the nice mentions you always gave me. Uh, my mum was always ringing me up telling me that, so I'll never forget that. Um, just want to wish you good luck, good luck now. I know you want to spend some time with your family. Very well deserved. Uh, look forward to seeing you at Chelsea. Um, when you come to the game, give me a shout and um, be nice to see you and the family in the Players Lounge or something. Good luck. Oh my goodness, what a gentleman, and he's had one hell of a year as well, because his mum, who we talked about there, had passed yeah. away this year, so thank you, Frank. Oh, thank you, everyone. I feel very self-indulgent, but I couldn't help it. And hey, then, from my little do girl in Africa, yeah. that, oh, God. But you know what, you don't, it's not self-indulgent, because everybody at home is feeling it as well. <laughs> There's a couple of people on there that we didn't actually get a chance to catch up with, but they you have written you a very lovely letter. It's from DV... Oh, the DVBs! The DVBs the have Beckons. written the letters. The Beckons oh, have written that the letter. Oh, so sweet. Which they asked for you to read. Thank you so much. Do you want, shall I read it? Or do you want me to I'd read it? I'd like you to read it. I want to know what they say. It's Victoria and David Beckham. OK, dear Fiona, thank you so much for all your support over the years. Um, oh, hang it's on. been wonderful watching you. It's been you. wonderful watching you on GMTV and you'll be sorely missed. We wish you all the best for your future projects and look forward to seeing you soon. You can tell I had lib because I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of love to you and your family from David, Victoria, Brooklyn, Romeo and Cruz. Thank you so much. Thank you very much really for sending that. Know how busy all of them are.